Praise be Jesus and Mary. This is my beloved Son. Listen to him. These are the words we heard you know, from God the Father, you know, spoken of his Son while transfigured on Mount Tabor. God the Father would speak similar words at uh, Jesus' baptism. You know, this is my beloved Son with whom I am well pleased. And it's interesting that, correct me if I'm wrong, you know, in the New Testament there's nothing more you know, spoken by God the Father you know, for nothing more needed to be said or could be said. You know, the Father, you could say, spoke his one word, the eternal word, you know, Christ, his only begotten Son. And with him he has said everything. We're very blessed you know, to know the fullness of divine revelation which reached its fullness in Christ, who is the definitive word of God. And we are very blessed to know that nothing more you know, is to be revealed. We need not wait around wondering if God will speak further. No, he has spoken everything with his Son. The only thing we need to do now is to live according to the Father's command we heard today. You know, listen to him. And that is the great challenge indeed. You know, to listen to Jesus, you know, to learn how to listen to him. You know, we can listen to our Lord in various ways, simple and ordinary ways. You know, in sacred scripture, for example, you know, the great um, book we take for granted at times, you know, to read sacred scripture, especially the Gospels, you know, of course in a spirit of faith, and our Lord does indeed you know, speak to us powerfully. In the celebration of the sacred liturgy and the sacraments, especially the Holy Eucharist, and prayer, you know, where, or when we really try to speak with Christ, with prayers that come from the heart, our Lord does indeed speak to us. And of course we have to uh, allow him to, to speak to us you know, with, uh, with ourselves being patient and humble uh, and listening to him. And in ordinary events that take place in our daily lives, all these too our Lord uses to speak to us, for all of them form a part of his providential plan for us. At times we are tempted to complain, though, that God doesn't speak to us, doesn't speak to us much, maybe doesn't speak to us at all, or as loudly or as clearly as we would like him to speak to us. But really the only complaint you know, can come from our Lord, you know, the complaint that we simply aren't listening to him or we're doing a very you know, poor job at it. It's very trying for us in today's culture. Uh, we get caught up with the noise of the world. We allow it to invade our homes and our, our daily lives, perhaps too much. So it's all the more challenging for us to learn how to listen you know, to our Lord and discern his voice you know, speaking to us in our daily lives. But we ought to be up for that challenge you know, to learn how to listen to his voice. No one carried out the command we heard from the Father you know, better than Our Lady. You know, she, in fact, did it so perfectly, you know, listening to her son in all things. And so we can ask her to help us, you know, to do the same, and she will. She'll teach us the great art of listening, you know, which all the saints had learned. In fact, Our Lady will make this command of the fathers her own, and she will never uh, cease to repeat it to us and to remind us of it. You know, this is my beloved son, listen to him. Praise be Jesus and Mary.